Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading guys. Um, Virgo, uh, I had a bunch of downloads yesterday. I should have written, written them down, but essentially the words were labyrinth, rabbit hole, um, storm warning, realignment. There was an energy of um, spirit warning you virgo because you have an opportunity yet another one to realign here you need to get out of the rabbit hole you need to stop projecting and trying to wait on people to take accountability and start taking accountability for yourself and your well-being. Nobody's going to do that for you. I feel like you, you're, you, you've been the past three, four years, I want to say, Max, some of you too, but four years even, have been pointing the finger and just waiting. You can't force people to take accountability. Um, it almost is like you're mirroring, you know. You want people to take accountability, but it, are you taking accountability for your well-being? We just had that Virgo full moon in your sign. Your ruler, Mercury, is across from you in Pisces. So is Jupiter, so is Saturn. Sorry, so is, is Neptune, so is Saturn. And in your sixth house, we have a lot going on there too. We have Pluto. That's your energy, sixth house energy. Pluto's there. The planet of death and rebirth going into the depths of the abyss but to heal okay um not to over analyze to heal pluto doesn't even give you a choice there's nothing to analyze there because you're alone there so in your sixth house of aquarius you have pluto venus and mars it's time to give love to yourself. Stop looking at the outside world, expecting, blaming. Like, what do you want, Virgo? For yourself. Because what you want from people, I'm afraid you're not going to get. I'm just going to be honest. Because you don't know, even know what you want. This was the energy I felt yesterday in my bed while I was doing, you know, getting the downloads. Um, do you know why I'm saying all this? Because on January 28th, 2025, inshallah, God willing, the nodes are going to shift. The south node is coming in your home that's the storm right there that is the storm sorry guys i have a phone call one second okay virgo sorry about that um it actually got dark so i turned on my ring light and i think the reading was getting dark too i didn't want to scare you or anything but i was just channeling um so as i was saying you know my left ear is my right ear is like ringing Ooh. So, you know, Virgo, on January, Jan, on January 28th, 2025, in about 11 months, South Node is coming in your home. South Node in your first house is not an easy transit. So I feel like this Piscean energy right now is preparing you for that. Okay? Um this energy here um it's time to like sort through things so you could see clearer so you're ready because the south note is going to bring a storm that's what it does it, it, it it's like things from the past it's even past lives it's dna repair it's um ancestral dna there's another word it's like um generational curses and generational stuff you know 
that you're going to have to deal with, you know. Um, so this is the time to start sorting through things, especially things that are truly, honestly, not important, but you've put so much focus on and that are eating at you from the inside. You cannot change people, but you can change yourself and your perspective. Drop into your heart chakra. It's time to heal your heart chakra. Get out of the mind. Get out of the projection. Get out of that idea. You know, get out of the stubbornness. Get out of the judgment. Okay, Virgo? Okay, <clears throat> let's get into the cards. You know, like I said, Mercury, Saturn, Neptune in your seventh house. I feel like you're a loner now because you just like look at everybody as the enemy. It's like you're in flight. There's another word they, they came up with. Fight or flight mode. You've been in fight or flight mode for the past, and like I said, four years, I think. <sighs> Come back to self, spirit says, okay? It's time for that higher perspective, Taurus energy, your ninth house. Jupiter and Uranus is there changing your mindset. Eighth house, Aries, your eighth house is Aries, Chiron, healing. What are you fighting for? The only thing you should fight for is yourself your well-being not the idea of what you think people owe you how you think people should act what they should be like that judgment energy right okay what do i want to start with here let's start with keepers of the light no, let's start with the moon card. Two moon cards for you. This is the queen of the moon. You know, start start this journey with this Pisces energy here, which is the undoing. And I feel like there's somebody around you that could help you, but you've shunned everyone out. Some of you are at, you are at odds even with family. Aries is the new year technically for us, like well, you know, for us in the spiritual community. This is the time to start coming back to your sovereignty. Pisces is high priestess. Um, going within, reconnecting with the divine. But the divine up there, not the rabbit hole, not the the the, the shadow, the, the not the shadow, but not the like getting your energy from the higher realms, you know, which is what positivity. But I feel like you're in a lot of darkness right now, Virgo. Okay, fight or flight. I keep saying fight or flight, um, labyrinth, rabbit hole. You need to surrender to grow. Twenty six, eight, and a five. That change, that transformation, that Saturnian energy, Plutonic energy, Aries. Um, not Aries, Aquarius. Pluto's in Aquarius. It's gonna be there for a minute. Your sixth house, and you know the surrender is Pisces. Your seventh. Let people help you. You're gonna need people on your side outside people you trust you're not you're not alone essentially but you put yourself in a position of being alone because you don't trust anyone or you're blaming everyone or you're paranoid about everyone <coughs> excuse me okay time for self-reflection 
look at yourself it's time to go within deal with your emotions look at your emotions and ask yourself what are they trying to tell you really like but direct your emotions to self not to how people hurt you disappointed you or didn't show up for you all you need is you self-reflection surrender will bring self-reflection the two eights here expansion it will bring expansion and change 26 17 8 8 5 that transformation okay let's get an animal oracle do i even want to get an animal oracle no not for you let's get an energy or let's stay in the spiritual realm for a minute here okay and then we'll get an energy about what's the energy in the 3d here we're talking very spiritual stuff you know can you see the cards it's kind of dark I hope not so much. Um, I want to get a Keepers of the Light. And then we'll get a Work Your Light. So, let's see. Let's get a Jeff of the Light. Sorry, I don't even have Sage. I feel like I need Sage for you. I oof, Monday, I'm going to go to the metaphysical store because I have a meeting. The woman that usually sells me my stuff. I actually need bracelets too, crystals. Maybe that's something, a message you need to hear. I really been urged to get crystals. Maybe it was announcing the Piscean healing energy because I'm a Pisces rising. I definitely need some crystals on my wrist, on my body, right? I have a crystal shop on Etsy. As you see, I have a lot of crystals. The crystals I sell on Etsy are not the ones I use. They're not this. They're in a box, you know. I do cleanse them before I sell them. But um, I have a lot of crystals, basically. That's what I wanted to say. But I need them on my, on my. I was going to say on me, but I was going to say on my body. <laughs> so I said on my. The only crystal I have is a, this um, clear quartz on my neck. That actually, the cord broke, so I have it on a, an elastic. That's how bad I, my body's asking for crystals here. Okay, so let's see. From the keepers of the light, what kind of, what deity, you know, something. What deity can you embody? What archetype can you embody, perhaps, or work with to help you through what's to come? Or what what is going on right now? Let's not talk about what's to come. But because what's to come depends on what you do right now with the energy you are in and how you transmute and how you rearrange, realign. It's almost like this is a warning, okay? Like start now. Start doing the work now so it does, it's not that disruptive when the South Node comes into your home, you know? It's almost like if you have an exam, you know, you don't wait to the last minute to study because you, you are about to have an exam that's going to last two years. <laughs> South Node last two years. You know that. Look at that. Lord Ganesh is on your side. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Oh, we love that. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So spirit, you have spirit guides around you. you have your um, They've been around you. They've been trying to communicate with you, but we have free will. You've been blocking them. You have been blocking them. You have a lot of spiritual beings trying to connect with you, Virgo. Trying to help you remove these obstacles that you are creating. You are creating these obstacles. Look at this, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Expect the Holy Spirit is God, it's the universe, it is source. It's the highest of all the people in here. You have Ganesh, you have Radha, you have Sanat, you Buddha, you have Mephilsadek, Kali is in here. 
this is the, this is the one the holy spirit expect miracles infinite abundance um it says remember that only love is real love of self miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back spiritual support they've been had your back spirit has been had your back your spirit guides your departed loved ones your ancestors they're trying to connect but they just can't get through to you somehow Look at this. This was stuck in the box. Jesus, forgiveness. Forgive others and forgive yourself, Virgo. You are on the path of light. Love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Some of you, something about your father. I don't know. I'm not going to develop on that, but something about your father. Mm. So I have Lord Ganesh, Master Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. What jumps out to me here is spiritual support, spirit has your back, and forgiveness so that you can surrender and put yourself on a path towards the light, towards self, and grow. All right, guys. Okay. Let's see. Now we can get into the energy oracle. feel like you're in you're like nothing you're just you're just giving up you're like the world is dark this is it i'm just gonna fight or flight but there's abundance so the spirit is about to show you that is the world is not as grim and dim and and disappointing and hurtful as you think it is and you know infinite abundance miracles but you have to forgive to see it you can't hold on to resentment, judgment, um, blame. There's something you need to grieve and let it go so you can grow. All right. Oh, I said I was going to get work here light. Look at that door to spirit. <laughs> Five again. I think I'm just going to take it. You are attached to something here. <clears throat> you have three fives, three fives, door to spirit attachment that you have to let go to grow. What are the attachments? And she has a mask here too. And look at that self-reflection card, right? There's this mask. It's this armor you put in on yourself. You are the only one holding yourself back from this this um the miracles the cornucopia you know you have to heal your heart chakra and i feel like some of you things have not been going well at all in all areas of your life because when you are in darkness and doom and gloom and you think the world is shit you're gonna manifest shit guys that's the way it works your energy what you think and feel and believe it what is what you create what you manifest You have to shift your vibration. Let go of these outdated thoughts. Let go of these attachments. This attachment card is not talking about people. It's the beliefs. The resentment. What you, and what you, the darkness you have towards people, places, things, or the world. I feel like you feel like everybody's against you. And it's not victim mentality. I didn't say that. No. But it's like, you know, everyone is against you. You have three, five, guys. Three, five, guys. 
There's there change, man. Change, change, change. Mm -mm. Change, change, change. That's it. You need to change. You need to change your perspective in order to expand. These are two eights here. Surrender. Okay, let's see. Let's get some, um, I'm going to get a work your life. Just one card. That's what I wanted to do before I saw that um, door to spirit card. And then attachment. But this is the promise, guys. And then you have miracles here. You have abundance, cornucopia, a brand new beginning, a life where you are going to, your, rea your reality is just going to shift. You, you are going to feel so light and so grateful. So light, so grateful, and things are just going to start turning around for you. Magically. Boom. That's the reward. Let me put that here. Yeah, you gotta heal your heart. Let me just put that here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take the heart card too. Let's take the heart card too. Start healing here. Self, healing of self. Like what did I say about dropping into your heart chakra, right? Getting out of your mind. In the narrative you keep telling yourself. Expectations. You gotta let go of expectations. That jumped. No. Expectations, no. Oops. Maybe some of you need to take a trip somewhere solitude is necessary but not the type of solitude where you're choosing to flee but it's an inward it's a it's a place where you feel safe that you need to go and i feel like it's inside of you it could be a childhood memory or maybe some of you all of this is due to childhood trauma there's you need some alone time a pilgrimage might be really useful for you guys some kind of trip alone to discovery, you know, and then if you go somewhere new, look at that. You are not alone. Like I just got shivers. What did I say when I saw, ooh, just when I saw spirit has your back and spiritual support and connection, I told you your ancestors, man, and ancient ancestors stand beside you. It's exactly what I was saying, you know? What was I saying? Oh, so if you, um, yeah, a trip, look, in Rama, where are you being um, called to journey to? Yeah, you need to go somewhere. There's somewhere you need to go. And if you go there and nothing changes, that's your cue to whatever is going on is not about the place. It's not about the people, you know, it's about the, the way you, your perspective, okay? Inner temple. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. Yeah. Tune into the por portal of your heart. Inner temple. Self-reflection. Yep. And then transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, level deep healing. This is definitely deep healing. Five, 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 five. That, that you might be seeing that. Eight, eight, four, four. That your angels are with you. Spirit guides, helpers in the subtle realms. You are not alone. Ancient, ancient ancestors stand by, beside you. You can tune in. They are urging. Now you can. You are 
being urged to tune into the temple, to your inner temple, and to self-reflect, but you have to first surrender. Let go of your attachments, the narrative you're telling yourself here. Your inner temple is the door to spirit. Because you are spirit. And that's by doing that, you are on your way, setting yourself up for freedom. Look at this dove. Not only your freedom, but to what is so promised by the divine, your spirit guides. Like what is your birthright? What is waiting for you on the other side? It's trying to come through, but you're not at the vibration. Hell no. And I'm putting it lightly. For it to come true, you know. What was I saying about the um, high priestess? She looks like a high priestess. It's this transformation. Changing at a cellular level. You need to tune into your inner temple. Basically, that's, that's, that's it. That's it, Virgo. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh. I want to get into Toro a little bit, break it down just a little bit, okay, and see how you can tune into your um, inner temple a little bit. We'll get some more, like a couple of cards. Let's get into Toro a little bit here. Something about a father mm, that might have passed away. Or that is still alive but is dead to you you know i'm kind of like patriarchy energy i don't know seems to be a big part of this some yeah some do with the home some do with your family mm. remember i told you guys some of you are at um odds with your family members because this is family this is the nucleosis this is like celebration family i mean it's not the ten of um cups or pentacles but still this could be at a level of you and your spouse or your brothers and your sisters yeah a little brother a little sister Page of Wands, somebody very fiery, a lot of fire here. Somebody very fiery, somebody very stubborn. Hmm. It could be a child even for some of you. Let's keep going. This person is definitely younger in the way they behave. They could be a little bit unstable. Or they could be unstable in your eyes because they're not doing what you want them to do. Or they're not acting how you think they should act. Again, live and let life. You know, look. Yeah, somebody very defensive. Somebody that's not putting up with what you're trying to convey to them. There's definitely not communication going on between the two of you because this is communication. This is a message. Um, and this is defense mechanism. That fight energy I was talking about. It's fear. It's stubbornness. It's, it's also um, ego sometimes. Well, it depends what it's next to. Here it's giving me ego. And here goes the high priestess again. Let them do them. You go on in your merry way and start your healing, Virgo. And if it's somebody younger, you are the high priestess. You already carry that energy. It's just blocked off. It's in you. It's in all of us, but it's blocked off. So technically, you are wiser, more mature. Spirits like act like it. <laughs> then you have the full reverse. 
two majors to finish. The full reverse is somebody who's reckless. It's vanity, stupidity even. It's apathy. It's somebody that just that does whatever the fuck they want, you know? I feel like this is how you, 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 you view this person or the people around you. Let's just not single out one person here. Yeah, the people around you, people at work, people, anybody. They're just not valuing you. This is Sun and Virgo. They're not valuing you. I feel like you're looking for some kind of validation that you're not getting. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and Chariot. You're trying to persuade, you're trying to change people, Virgo. You can't change people. And I know you see something. I agree with this, that they don't see. You keep doing what you do for you. Because by you forcing it, you're acting out of character. You see what I'm saying? You are acting out of character. And you're definitely not going to be successful. So, like I said in the beginning in the channel message, you cannot change people. You cannot change the world. But you can change the way you operate, how you view you, how you, like, I think it's come to the point where it's just not getting through anyway. And if anything, if you keep at it, it's creating more animosity and you look crazy. Does that make sense? And I know you're coming from a good place. I know it in my heart. I do. But you need to get out of the labyrinth and save yourself. You got to save yourself, Virgo. Save yourself. Because you have, you, you've lost yourself by wanting to save others or change others. You never succeeded. You're not going to succeed. Now what's happening is that it backfired. Now you look like you need saving. Isn't that crazy? And all you wanted was to help. Because you have some kind of knowledge. You do. But you went too deep in the rabbit hole. I know it. I'm telling you. See that? You want to be valued. You want to be heard. They're not hearing you. They're not. The lines are crossed. You're missing the GPS. You're missing. You don't have their number. They don't have your number. You're not on the same frequency. You both are on a negative frequency though. Because you started up trying to get to bring them up with you, but you found yourself falling with them. You see? That's what's happening here. Oh my gosh, such a waste, right? I see it clearly, clearly. You need to recreate harmony inside of you, Virgo. Keep your inner beauty, your inner temple pure, neat. Be humble. Okay. Remain in balance with your emotions. I think you've lost a hold of your emotions. And know that everybody has their own journey. And you must regard everybody's journey with respect. And in a humble way. And always offer words of good intent. Not judgment. You have to relate in peace. And I feel like you have to embrace everything and everything and everything. Like all. And what they're going through the world. As shitty as it may be around you right now. 
And you just have to focus on yourself and advance through your own abilities. Basically, do you, Virgo. Do you. Forget about the rest. It's time to do you. All right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's get some spell cards and finish this off. It's really time to do you, Virgo. Mm-hmm. All right. Spell cards for Virgo. Hula. <clears throat> My heart chakra. Gotta open your heart chakra. You have to be happy again, Virgo. The pessimism, the darkness, the, the paranoia. Ooh. Fight or flight. Fight or flight, they keep saying. All right, let's see. Let's one card for Virgo Spirit. From the spell cards. Fertility. Growth. Let all take root, seed, and sprout. Let new life be all about. This is the transformation. Mm. Coming back to self. It's your rebirth. Again, let all take root, seed, and sprout. Let new life be all about. Your new life is waiting for you, Virgo. A life of fertility, which is abundance. Some of you, if it's a baby, it's a baby. Fertility is the empress energy. There's a life. I'm telling you, you're not going to... When you come out of this, Virgo, the sun awaits you. It was staring at me. This is the fertility. Some of you want a baby. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, divine guidance. Whips, whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. You are divinely guided. You are divinely protected. You have ancient. They didn't say ancestors. They said ancient. Uh, look at this card. Ancestors. They could be animals, whatever it is. You have ancient ancestors you have spirit supporting you and you're being divinely guided to reconnect to your higher self virgo this is a message from your higher self let me can i tell you that virgo some of you are not sleeping some of you are lost weight some of you I'm telling you, people are looking at you like a like a madhouse. You've lost weight. You're you're complete. You've aged. Glamour reversed. You've aged. Your money's gone, right? I told you that before. You're not sleeping. You've lost this royal regal energy of yours that you always had that made people envy you. You've lost prosperity. Everything is just not working for you right now. 444 four, four again. You need to reconnect the spirit 44 four twice. Guys, numbers that are repeating 555-88444. Five, 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 eight, eight, four, four, four. Okay? Nothing is this is this used to be you. Some of you used to be in the public eye. Some of you used to, like, wow, people used to come, like, really, really, I mean, I'm talking admire you. Look, we have victory. Both victory cards, the chariot and victory, are reversed. You, you've been reckless. You've been very reckless. It's like you fell off the deep end. That's what I mean. You fell off the deep end. Some of you are trying to cope with like multiple sexual partners. Spirit says that's a no. 
success again reversed protect your energy in your home stop letting everybody inside of you and your home reclaim your power virgo you feel like you're jinxed you feel like people have put spells on you you feel like nothing is jinxed you know yeah you feel like you've been hexed no you haven't you just disconnected from your divinity. It's time to reconnect to your divinity. All right. It's time to reconnect to your divinity. Your higher self. All right, guys. Love you, Virgo. Get to work. There's a, you know, just saying it and understanding this message is the beginning to the door to spirit to reclaiming your power to shifting your reality and to opening the door to this cornucopia it starts with surrender then transformation no surrender reflect self-reflection transformation and then the growth begins. The surrender is letting go of attachment. Obviously, we know that. We know that the transformation is the door to spirit. I, mean, I can't hold all the cards. But I feel like this is it here. It sums it up. Let's just add cornucopia to it. Yeah, it starts with surrendering. Self-reflection. Then you get into the transformational phase, the door to spirit. You know, be connecting with your heart chakra. And then you grow, which turns into wisdom. You reconnect with your higher self. You are guided. And then the abundance comes in. Not only the abundance you've lost, but even more. Because after a transformation like this, baby, I'm going to tell you, ooh, spirit is definitely going to reward you. Because this, this is, may I say, one of the biggest transformations a human being goes through. All right, Virgo, and the angels are with you. Your ancient ancestors are beside you. You are supported. You are not alone. First of all, physically, look around you. Stop blocking the people around you. You have to be open. There are people around you that want to help, that have always rooted for you. Some have been talking about you, yes, but some have been there. There is a solid group of people that has your back. I don't feel like it's new people. I feel like it's people from the past. Before this down roll, downward spiral started. People that really truly know you. Some of you, this is these are people from your childhood. Maybe that's why we have the page of wands. Okay. That knew you before life got to you. Okay. So. Yeah. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. Drop into your heart chakra, Virgo. Please rewatch this if as many times as you want. Because I feel like you're going to need to rewatch it. Because there's so much to unpack here. And I feel like as close off as I feel your energy, you're not going to get all the messages at once. So it's going to take maybe maybe five times. You're watching it five times for you to really paint the picture. Because I feel like there's, res there's going to be resistance at first. For sure. Because you're in resist mode right now. You're in fight or flight. I'm telling you. You might click off, cut me, curse me out. You might even unlike me. This is, you know, unlike the video. Some of you might even unsubscribe. Because this might trigger a lot of people that are not ready. I know I'm, I'm very aware. But this is what I do. Or that's not what I do. This is what spirit needs me to do. This is what spirit uses me to do. Okay.
guys if you want a crystal for my etsy shop down below you have my link um everything is below don't forget to like share, and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye take care of yourself Virgo. bye